Rosie, um, welcome to Wraith Rovers. Um, how does it feel to have signed up for the for the new season? Yeah, I think I'm just uh, excited and swearing to go now. You know, I'm just obviously delighted to be here and uh, just to be able to buy into what the manager wants. And yeah, just looking forward to progressing now and just playing, just meeting the teammates. Good, good. I, I get the impression that John McGlynn has laid out very specifically what his ideas are for the season coming, yes? Yeah, I think uh, that's probably one of the main reasons why, you know, I wanted to come up here and, you know, I just was buying into what he, you know, what he was, what he was saying and, you know, I just really wanted to be a part of what the, uh, what the team was trying to achieve. Got you right. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I know that you started off in the Reading youth system and most recently you played for Ebbsfleet United in the National Leagues. Um, what's, your, what's your style of play? What's your attributes? What are you going to bring to Wraith Rovers? I think uh, my style of play is, you know, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit of both. It's a bit of a modern, modern day kind of centre, uh, centre, uh, centre forward. <laughs> yeah. Centre forward, you know, and in terms of you know, bringing people into play, uh, and also being able to go in behind, um, you know, get on the end of balls uh, from crosses and, you know, just being, being a nuisance up there and also, you know, just being able to provide a platform for, for the team. Um, a question we asked our other striker that signed, uh, Manny Duku. Um, very obviously, you're a, you're a six foot plus centre forward, but it's not all about uh, winning headers and flicking the ball on for you, is it? No, no, I think, um, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's an attribute to have. Um, it's something to have to your game, but you know, it's, there's there's definitely more to my game than you know just flicking on headers and you know obviously just using my physical attributes. It's, you know, I like to play football. Um, you know, I, I, that's how that's how I come up through through the academy system, playing playing football on the ground, and um, you know, it's something that I enjoy as well. But obviously, the other side of it, the physical side, is something that um, comes natural and something that I, obviously I had to work on throughout the years. And you know, just bringing the two together, I think is um, is definitely something that, that I add to my game. Good. And and um, as we were as we were discussing as we came up the steps, that um, this isn't your first uh, experience of Scottish football. You know, you spent a bit of time in the west of Fife uh, with 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 our neighbours uh, Dunfermline. Um, what are you expecting from the teams you're going to play in the Championship? Because previously League One, mm -hmm. but in the Championship, what are you expecting from your opponents? Well, you know, I'm, I'm expecting it not to be not to be easy. Um, you know, it's a it's a physical league, but I've come from a physical league as well, so so I'm used to that. And um, you know, I'm just looking just to play my game and just use use my attributes that I know I have, and just look to impose that on on other other teams' defenders and obviously help help my team. Good. Uh, and and finally, um, you mentioned your teammates before that you're that you're about to meet when training starts on Monday, that's the plan. Uh, what have you heard about your potential striking partners and the rest of the squad? Yeah, I've heard uh, it's a talented team. Obviously, um, you know, we, we've got momentum at the moment, obviously, coming up into this league. And, you know, it's just, uh, I'm just, I'm just here to obviously just to add, just to add to what we've already, already got. And, um, which is obviously a, a great, talented team. And, um, yeah, I'm just looking just to add to that and obviously help, help in areas that I can. Yeah. And, and when the games do start, you know, we don't know if it's going to be behind closed doors or with restricted attendance, but uh, you'll be looking forward to playing in front of these home supporters um, when that time comes. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, a, it's obviously a shame that we can't have them in the, uh, in the stadium watching our games um, if, they, if, we, if we were playing now, but, you know, we'll, we'll wait for that. And um, hopefully it, when, when, it, when it's safe and ready to happen, you know, we can definitely all enjoy it. Great. Well, thanks for that, Gozi. Um, uh, thanks for talking to us. Good luck for the future, and we'll talk to you very soon. Cheers. Thank you.